Hey everyone, uh, a question came up recently, uh, it pertains to, well I've had a number of people ask me, what scan bodies can you export when you've used the Grammy unit? You use, you scan these Grammy uh, scan bodies, but when you export them, you export uh, scan bodies you're used to scanning to align to your intraoral scan, because you're not going to scan these in the mouth for your intraoral scan with your uh, intraoral camera or whatnot. So what can we export that correlates to our implant positions for alignment in whatever software like 3Shape or ExoCAD. And I'll be honest, I don't have much familiarity with 3Shape, but I am uh, quite well versed in ExoCAD. So I'm going to show you um, two things in this video. One is, here is the current list, and I'm not going to go through each of the, all these. If you want to pause, you can, or whatnot. These are all the current um, STLs you can export. A lot of them are scan bodies. Uh, the majority of them are, but there's even... Um, uh, analogs that you can export and a variety of other things screw channels and whatnot so so it's great and this will probably cover most of you in what you're using and this the, this list will grow as more and more are requested um, the developer will begin to adding or continue to add more and more however what if you have a scan body that you that isn't in the list how can you add that so that's what this video is going to show you and it's extremely easy um, so let me show you. Ah, come on, sorry. Um, this. All right. So, what I'm showing you in this, um, uh, in these two folders right here, is uh, this is my ExoCAD on my saw on my computer. So if I can open this folder, and I can come in and I can find my libraries that are already in ExoCAD. Okay, so if there's a scan body I like, I can just come in here, and if you've used to designing uh, libraries or creating your own libraries and whatnot, you're, this is gonna be very familiar. So the difference is, it, um, or what, what's not the difference, what you're gonna do here is we're gonna find that exact STL and we're gonna put it into our software for our Grammy unit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the CAD app, dental CAD app. I'm gonna come down to library and now I'm looking for implant. This is gonna show you all the different libraries you have installed in your, on your uh, installation. And I'm gonna show you one that I actually designed. Um, it's one that I like for um, MUA scan, well of course. Uh, so I'm gonna just show you that as an example. It's right down here. It's in this folder. And it is this specific, I can show you the preview by clicking on here. This is an, an STL I, I generated, I created, that matches this specific, um, it's actually a, a closed tray impression post. But I find it easy to scan and easy to align in ExoCAD. So I wanted to have it in my Grammy uh, software so I could export that. And so I could use these intra early to scan. And after I do my Grammy scan, I could export those to align in um, ExoCAD. So here it is. Here is the file. I come in now. I got to find where to put it. It should install in your program files in the x86 folder. Program files x86 under implant scanner. We're going to come down to um, oh boy um, uh, implant, and now we're looking for abutments. And now here are the different four folders, just like we saw a moment ago there's these four different categories, scan bodies being the one that I am looking for. And all I have to do is drag and drop this into this folder. I've already done it, I meant to delete it before recording this video so I could show you, but as you can see, the same file name, same file, both. Now, if you want there to be a little uh, thumbnail that uh, matches it, then you'd need to take a screenshot of it and make a PNG. Um, that's literally what I did. I opened it up in ExoCAD and um, took a screenshot of it and you just you know, rename that screenshot to the exact same uh, name, just obviously a .png instead of a .stl. I'm not going to show you that because that's just some pretty darn simple, hopefully, to make a screenshot. And you don't actually have to have it. It'll just show the name if you don't have a screenshot. So um, now if I come into my implant scanner software, and I already have a, pay, a scan up. You can see that here are the scan bodies having been scanned. And I go to export abutment meshes. Now I can come down here and there it is. Here's my DSCT MUA 
click on this. That's just a file name I created. I, I don't even remember what it's for, to be honest. And as an example, you can you can check everything if you wanted. You don't do that. But you could export any of these you want if you want to export multiple. For example, I'm going to go ahead and also export um, this analog. Uh, I use this one simply. Be, I actually don't carry it in my office. I use uh, the BSB one, but this one happens to be in a different library, so it doesn't matter. But Anyway, if I go ahead and click export, you immediately see the file open up, or the, uh, the that folder. And so if I click right here, you're gonna see all of them line up and as soon as this preview loads. And then there's the analogs, it takes a second. So instead, to show you even better, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in ExoCAD and I'm going to drag and drop these in here as well. And there. So you can see they line up perfectly. I, you don't have to do any sort of orientation. The way they are aligned in ExoCAD is aligned perfectly to way, the way they are aligned in the implant scanner software. I can't say that's the case for 3Shape because various three, you know, CAD softwares, um, you know, they'll flip an axis here or there. Not a big deal if that's the case in whatever software you're using. When you export it, you might have to turn it 90 degrees or 180 degrees before you integrate it within the software. But if you're using ExoCAD, it's as simple as drag and drop. Again, looking at the uh, implant scanner software, if you don't know how to make a screen a screenshot, and, and that's no, no knock on anyone, but if you're not sure or you don't want to go through the time, you can tell that it would just show everything. It just wouldn't have a picture here. You'd just be looking for the name. The fact that my background is different, that it's white, makes it easier for me to find. Okay, um, I didn't actually do that on purpose. I think that all of these are exported as PNGs without backgrounds, but the fact that I just took a screenshot of my desktop without um, isolating it actually is to my benefit because it makes it super easy because this is the one I want. So anyway, hopefully this video was useful. If you have any questions uh, or comments, corrections, whatnot, please uh, feel free to comment uh, down below. Um, as everyone says, like and subscribe if you want any more useful tip videos as I come up with them. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Bye for now.